Okay, I just found an issue when I tried to connect up the application, the line item one we just did, to Content Navigator in that we were converting PDFs to TIFF in the multi-source workflow. And when I connected to Navigator, there isn't. So I'm going to show you how to add a task to a workflow. So the workflows are listed here. As you can see, the, the demo multi-format includes this vScan multi. If you look over in the application in DataCap Studio and you look at the task profiles, this scan multi-format includes this image convert. So the first thing we would have to add a new task profile to run convert, but nicely out of the box the form template includes this convert task. So you don't have to add that. So that's the nice thing right there. First thing is I'm going to choose my navigator job right here. I can see them all right here. I need convert right here. So I'm going to add new and I'm going to rename this task to convert. Now right after I change it to convert I say apply just to make sure the name gets updated here and everywhere else and I'm going to move that up in the list. So now it's right before page ID so it'll do the scan, it'll do the upload and then it'll do the convert. It's a mode is normal, we're not doing any batch creation. You can only have one batch creation per job instance, so in case this case in scan is your batch creation. Um, it's not routing, page ID and profiler do some routing, that's a whole other subject. And there's not much else you gotta do. Sometimes I've seen bugs long ago where the task profile could be empty. This will cause data cap desktop to crash or you know things won't run right. So just make sure that the right wording is here. Since we use the same name as the task profile in this task setup that it just used the same name. So that's all you need to make sure of. Everything else is good to go. I can click save, click done, and now we will run through that. I have to do one more thing to run it from DataCab desktop or run it from somewhere else. I'm gonna create a shortcut. If you look at, there's a background process here that has anything that's a background process is listed as a shortcut. I can add this to the list of background process. So if we do some kind of convert, and I'll change the manual select here to have convert to, and it's not one I used, but I just noticed that it's not clicked, and I can save that. Now anytime we choose this shortcut called background, it will run that convert, it'll look for a convert job as well. In this case, convert is already here, but it's probably only running manual select. You see, we just added this, so it's not on. So now convert will run that as well. So now I can come through and be able to run that task profile. So now I'm going to test it in Content Navigator. I'm going to go, I've got a job on hold here. I'm just going to close that. I'm going to log out. This thing was sitting around for a while. It's doing some other testing. Yeah, it's got some errors and stuff like that. So it says there's no jobs here, which is true. I deleted those behind the scenes. So now I'm back to a clean system. I can click scan. Oh, one other thing I had to change, by default, Content Navigator doesn't have PDF. It has TIFF turned on. And so if I go to this wheel here, the DataCap Administrative View in Content Navigator, this is the exact same thing as what we were looking at in TM Web. Remember, this is where I was doing my setup in TM Web. That same capability exists in Content Navigator. It's laid out a different, different way, but here's my workflows. Here's my remittance. I go to Jobs. I can see the Navigator jobs here, and you can see on the tasks now is this convert. This is the same one we added. I can get to my shortcuts, all that kind of stuff. What's going on on this one is in Content Navigator, if I go to the end scan function and go to advanced, I can see that somewhere down here it has an option for file extension. So I put TIFF and I put I added the comma PDF so I can get at those from Content Navigator. So that's kind of a tour of both admin clients and how to add a, a task profile to a workflow. So I'll go back to my scan task, I'll scan, I'll go browse, we'll go find that file that we're using, um, remittance images multi-format, here's that PDF, I can now say scan, it'll read it in, and I can say submit, and there is the uh, job. Now it's pending an upload, I can do upload from here, but I don't have any background tasks here because they're not turned on in the workflows. So convert is here. I could add them to here, but ten, I tend to run these from DataCap Desktop or I'll just add a rule runner thread that will run any of the background processes. So here's that convert. I can double click on that. It'll run it in the background. And I'm just running these manually. This is kind of the, until you get the thing working, I tend to run them manually. And then when you get tired of it, then you turn on the rule runner. So now it's in page ID. 
Okay, so it says pat batch is no longer available. I think there is some kind of threading issue, some kind of issue with um, the access database. And so now that one is no longer available. It's been put into an, uh, a, a running mode. Uh, I can change it here. I can edit the batch. I just need to get that back into back into pending mode. Edit the job. And instead of in running, I'm going to choose pending, and this should reset it. You see this, I think this is an access issue using an access database, which is what you use for the dev side of it. I don't see it very often, but it does happen. Now you know how to get around it. I'll relaunch my desktop. I can do the same thing with TM, TM Web. Usually I use TM Web to get at it. So there's that page ID. I'll run that, and it starts to run it. And I say, OK, um, job is finished. I could see that it was converted to a remittance dock. Profiler is going to run. This is going to convert it to a, a verify task. So it's got child spawned there. That's good. Now it's in this verify export. Now I'm going to do my verification from Content Navigator. So I'll refresh this, and that verify should be there and pending. And I'll open that, and it'll show me the document on the left here, the field data that we got off. Now the line items aren't displayed here. Or, Actually, the line items are okay. Yeah, I used to have to set this up nicely. Now it's all set up for me, so that's good. I don't have to do any further content navigator work because that used to be an extra, you know, couple panels that I would have to set up. And all my line item data is um, off of this, uh, off of this page. So there it is. So I've got the data, and I've got the um, form, and I've actually run it through Content Navigator here. So I can click Submit, puts it to export. By default, I think it goes to CSV, but we're done with with uh, creating this task. So hopefully you learned something. Thanks.